Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Cosmo Dread Overview. It seems like it's gonna be pure horror week, so it is my demise and time to not have fun. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can't complain because we don't really have a lot of horror stuff releasing like it used to be one year ago. And you'll know that I'm not a fan of this runner at all. I think the closest horror stuff that I could handle is Jurassic World, so that only shows you that I am not suitable for those type of experiences at all. Nevertheless, I have to make a review. <laughs> so Cosmo Dread is a survival horror action game, essentially sequel to the Dread Holes. I did not play back in the day because of course I'm a pussy, but I believe Dread Holes was more about escaping the monster and just searching for things, maybe like amnesia style. But Cosmo Dread is more action packed because it is actually the time to defend yourself because you can have weapons now and kill stuff around you. It seems like there's gonna be like a crafting system or just more complex gameplay. It seems like the developers put an emphasis this time that you are gonna die a lot actually. That way you learn that you are not alone on the ship and it forces you to learn about the mechanics and it is roguelike so I'm assuming just like Dread Holes is like randomly generated so not every run is gonna be like the same that's why you have to learn about the game itself to have easier later on essentially your goal is to get out of this spaceship and return to Earth I mean assuming that I didn't try Dread Holes I'm not gonna have a lot of input on the Cosmo Dread either so I'm just gonna pretty much just try it out to see how the mechanics work and just like what are the vibes because I'm not gonna play for it, of course. Just gonna explore and see in what moment I will quit. That's basically the call. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Destroy me imaginary. Ah, lovely. Oh my god. Oh my shit. Oh, I already don't want to be here. <laughs> Holy fucking fuck. Point on a console with your hand interactive. Press trigger to select the button. Okay. <laughs> I'm really sweating. Bracelet hand. Oh, okay. Objectives, options, stuff like that. Preferences, locomotion, movement mode. Oh no, smooth. <laughs> like that. Okay, new game. Starting weapon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's board. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Ah, uh, we were crashing. Oh fuck, okay, so we are here. <laughs> Use left stick to move. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Use right stick to turn around, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we have here? I... Wait, why? What are those fucking sounds? Ew! Oh my god! Oh shit! Fuck? No, no, no! <laughs> Punch with your hand and use grip button to grab things. Crossbow. Ammo. Uh, we wrote like that. Got it. Data drive. You can place items in your inventory. Open it with your left hand. Oh. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening even? I'm assuming I got spawned like next to a uh, thing, like next to the wall. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god! Drop items here and add them to the inventory. Okay, more ammo. Sure. Do we add it like that? Oh no, in the inventory like that. Okay. Audio log. Oh! I did it already! <laughs> and I didn't even start, so whatever. Graphically... Ah... Uh... Oh no, no! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stop it! Actually, pretty bad. Like, I did not play Dread Holes, but it should be a bit better. I feel like they did just optimizations for Quest 1, not Quest 2. I'm a bit confused what's going on. How long did I play Blair Witch? 2-3 minutes? Okay, this is gonna be similar. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> what the hell? The objective man reflects your current goals. Find your bearings, reach the courtyard. Keep an eye on your oxygen level and replenish it. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is the oxygen? Oh, no, 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 put, put, put it back in. Spin it. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is a map. Okay. Because this is a road like, so that's gonna be like helpful. <laughs> the, the sound design? Excellent. But fuck you. <laughs> the toggle flashes say. Stop it! Oxygen level. How to replenish that though? Why is like open up that fast? Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> no. I'm not doing it. Hell fucking no. No, 
Nothing even fucking happens and I'm already like over it. Huh. I hope nothing like, you know, kinda jumps you or something like that. Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm too much of a pussy to do it. No. <laughs> it's a similar vibe to Blair Witch, like, I'm not doing this. This is even scarier than Blair Witch because the sound design is crazy. You can hear especially where what's what and stuff like that. Like, ooh, no, no. I didn't even meet anything, but like, the sounds are just too much for me. I just wanted to see what's up and stuff like that. So, this is not the video that you want to watch it from me because I just can't. <laughs> Graphics are absolute no to me. The mechanics, like, you have inventory system, like, there's and stuff like that. Seems fine. I would really hate that something would jump on me or something like that. So it's gonna be a short video, of course. Yeah, it could be better, I feel like, if you're talking about just graphical design. I like that you have inventory system like that and objectives. It is very much what kind of VR is nowadays to have like stuff on your bracelet. The mechanics part of the game seems fine to me, but they could do a better job on the graphical department for sure. Off to my adventures with games.